Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to track and export from Mocha Pro to Nuke. So now we are inside Mocha Pro here. So first we have to create a new project or just we have to import footage inside Mocha Pro here. So just we have to click on file, then click on new project. Then in import clip, just simply click here and just select your footage. So here this is a sort here and just select starting frame of your footage. Then click on open here. Here this is your footage frame range which is start from 0 to 200 frames and downside this is frame rate. By default Mocha Pro track your shot on 24 fps but if you know your footage frame rate then simply you can select from this drop down list here. So here I know which is 29.97 then simply just we can select this one here. Now we have to click on ok here. So now just I have imported over this footage inside Mocha Pro here. So just I am using this Mocha Pro classic workspace or interface here but if you want you can also use this essential interface or workspace here. Now again just select this classic workspace or interface here. Now just we have to play and check. So this is our timeline here. Simple just we can play and check our sort here. So here these two boards just we have to track then we have to export for new. So first just I am going to track over this first one board here. So hold a Z and just simple just we can zoom this area here first we have to drag this board so just we have to create a shape on this board here so for creating a shapes these are our actually different different tools so with the help of these tools just simply we can create shapes i am going to use first one this is x x line now just click first one then second one then finally we have to accept this shape so just right click here then select all points and just simple adjust this corners then we can properly just define area which area you want to track now here i have created over these shapes and in this layer panel simply we can can see this layer first we just i've created this one here now after this we have to track over this shape or area so downside in our timeline these are actually forward tracking options and these are backward tracking options so according to your player position just you have to track forward or backward but you have to track your entire timelines here so for just i'm going to track forward simple just we can click on this track forward here then after this again just we have to move your player from where just you have track now we have to click on this track backward here so you can see here so remember this one this shape should not be slip otherwise maybe this will not give you a good result here okay so just we have to focus on this shape while you are tracking your sort So now here just I have tracked over this shape then after tracking your shape just we have to create a planar surface or area where you want to place or insert your object or logo. So just we have to click on this planar surface here and just simply we can define our area. Now just click on this show and hide outline here so simply easily we can focus on our this planar surface here so just we have to place. Even if you want, you can also just uh, enable your grid so easily we can understand your perspective and just we can adjust this area. So this is actually totally uh, depends on you how you are using all these options here. So hide this grid here. Just simply play and check. So now if you will see, so this planar surface is just following according to our this footage motion here. And this is looking good here. Even if you want to test something, then inside this layer panel downside you will see insert clip. Yes, you can select and it's simple you can select maybe mocha logo and just simply we can play and check so now you can see this is just following according to this uh, footage movements here even if you want you can also use this uh, grid here so just simply select this grid and just we can place it here now just simply click on this hide all overlay here now just play and check same age you can also track your second board uh, this here so for this what we can do so again just we have to uh, take this x spline now just simply select just create another layer then after this again just we have to track forward and backward here okay so just click on the track forward so now guys just i have tracked about these two board with the help of these two layers inside mocha pro here for tracking in mocha pro i have already created many videos so link i have given in descriptions now we are ready for export and we will do composting inside new so here before exporting just a little bit just i am going to rename these two layers so easily just we can understand 
so just double click here and board one now just we are going to export these tracking data for nuke so first one just select this board one here then for exporting downside you will get this export track options then simply click here then in format just we have to select this new corner pin then downside you will get two options first copy to clipboard with the help of this simple we can direct paste tracking data from mocha pro to nuke and second one save so if you want to save your tracking data in your computer then simply you can click on save so here both things just i am going to explain so first click on save and just select your location where you want to save your tracking data so in this h drive so by default this will automatically take name from your footage so you can see even if you want to rename then simply you can define it here okay but just i am going to save with same name then we have to click on this save here now just open nuke and just we have to import these tracking data inside nuke so now we are inside nuke here so same footage also just i have imported inside nuke then after this we have to import our tracking data which you have exported from mocha pro so just simple open your drive where you have saved your tracking data so this jabra file which just i have exported from mocha pro so simple just you can select and just direct you can drag and drop here now if you will double click here so simply we can see these are our three tracking data which just i have exported from mocha pro so this is saved options here second suppose direct if you want to copy tracking data from mocha pro to new then you can use copy to clipboard option so now again we are inside mocha pro so here i have selected this one here then simple we can click on this export track then same option new corner pinning then copy to clipboard then simply we can click here then control v simple just we can paste inside new now just clear all these properties here now if you will double click on this one here so same thing we are getting here so like this with the help of any option just simple you can import tracking data from mocha pro to new so same as just i am going to also import second board tracking data inside new so just delete this one here so you can see so this jabra actually second board tracking data inside this layer here or inside this node which is board 2 and board 1 so properly if you will rename your layer inside mocha pro so same name you will get here now we are ready for composting inside new first layer just save our project here then we have to click on save here so now here after this first just i am going to remove this text from this board then we will place another text on top of this board here so for removing this text first we have to create a clean pad so here just as suppose i want to create a clean plate maybe frame 53 so we have to take a frame hold node so press tab and you take a frame hold then you define your frame where you want to create clean plate maybe frame 53 then after this we have to take a roto paint node so press p p for roto paint node and simply we can connect then take this clone brush and it simply we can create your clean plate so then hold control and just you can select samples and just simply we can create your clean pad then after this we have to select all these strokes then go to this lifetime and just we have to select this all frame here guys i have already created our clean pad using this proto pad node so just i am going to use these nodes here simple so just select and delete this one and just connect these two nodes here now here this first one proto pad node which is for first board here and second one for second board here and same lifetime just i have defined here all frame remember this one this. so now just simple just i have created a clean plate inside new also now just i am going to remove this text from over this first board here now just we have to take a roto node so simple press o and just we can create a shape then we can use copy node press k and just connect b input just we have to connect with our this clean plate a input just we have to connect this roto node viewer with copy node then after this copy node just we have to use pre melt node so press tab and pre melt now we are getting this area only then after this take a merge node so press m so this b input just we have to connect our this original plate then a input we have to connect this pre melt node here now select this merge node press 1 and just view your merge node you now just play and check so now guys if you will see here this clean plate is not following according to our this original plate movements here so what we have to do just we have to use our this tracking data 
so again go to frame 53 now after this pre-mult node just we have to connect this core opening node which we have exported or created from mocha pro so now just let us just create some space and just we have to connect it here now if you will see guys this edge actually uh, just resides the this area so you can see size this one so just only this portion just i am getting here so what we can do to double click on this corner opening node then go to this from tab here and just we have to click on this copy to now we are getting over this actual cleaning plate on actual positions here then after this we have to remove this animation remember this one right click then we have to click on no animation press s Now just we have to play and just check this is following or not so simply just play and check so now guys if you will see so this clean plate is just following according to our this original footage motions here because I am using this corner pinning node with tracking data which you have tracked or exported from Mocha Pro okay now this is looking good here a little bit suppose if you want to smooth your edges then we can use blur node after this proto node so press B and just alpha and a little bit just we can make a smooth edge here now clear all this property now just after this just i am going to place another text on top of this board here so just a little bit just adjust your workflow so which we can understand now just create a text so press tab and type text then simply we can type your text so way to mega mall so any text that you can type Now just view this text so easily we can understand so select this one press 1 so this is our actually so this is a text here so simply we can see and just we can move then after this we have to compose this text on top of this board here so simple what we can do so same thing just take a merge node press M this will be our background and this text just we have to connect with this foreground and double click here select all text then in this color then after this again we have to follow this text according to this background movement so same corner pinning we can use so select this one control c copy then control v paste and connect after this text here so now guys if you will see this text is also just following according to over this footage movement here but actually this is not placed according to this board perspective so what we can do for this one so simple just again double click on this corner pinning node then again go to this from tab and just we can use this set to input so this will automatically just create perspective according to over this corner pinning or according to over this planar area here now we just click on set to input so now you can see here then after this just easily we can adjust size of your text then double click on this text then you can select then you can use this font size even you can use transform node so after this text press t and just easily just we can adjust and then double click on this text then you can select any font whatever font you like then from here just we can select and if anything just you can adjust according to requirements here now clear all these properties and just try to play and check so now guys here simple if you will see simple just i have removed over for this text and second text just i have placed on top of this board here so same thing for second one here so on about this second board just i am going to place actually this image here so any images you can place on top of this board here according to requirements just i am going to place it here so again what we have to do so just simple we can pick and just we can use this second board corner print data then we have to take a merge node so press m and connect after this merge nodes then this corner printing data just we have to connect after this uh, images or footage here now if you will see this will automatically just fit according to this planar surface whatever surface that you have defined inside mocha pro here so you can see this is looking good here then after this if you want you can use maybe grade node or saturation node so press tab and you take a saturation node then double click on this merge node and a little bit with mix value so we can also mix this text here and just properly just we have to maintain our workflow here so easily we can understand 
then after this finally we have to use crop node or reformat node so simple just we can crop over this bonding box here so simple just select this final merge node press tab and it take a crop node here and just click on this reformat then one more thing suppose if you want a little bit feather your edge this one here so after this corner penny nodes now press tab and use a edge blur node here and just connect after this corner penny node here so we are getting these a smooth edges here you so now suppose if you want to little bit adjust your this image or logo perspective then simple before this corner penny node you can use another corner penny node so just take another corner penny node so press tab and just take a corner pin node and just simple we can connect then double click here and just we can adjust all these points so like this if you want you can also adjust your perspective here now just finally we have to play and check so now here this is looking good here and remaining things that you can adjust according to your requirements here so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching